good day guys at home i want to take difference of two squares today still under the topic quadratic expression what do you mean by difference of two squares when well, you are subtracting the square or a perfect square from another perfect square like if you have something like this a squared minus b squared how do you factorize a squared minus b squared it's very simple open a bracket add the variables a and b in another bracket take their difference a minus b that's all so if you have for instance s squared minus y squared <coughs> to factorize this now it will be x plus y x minus y so the difference of two squares as simple as this so we are going to take some few examples under difference of two squares now if you have something like this 100 100 minus x squared y squared can we still use difference of two squares for this yes because this 100 is a perfect square what is the square root of 100 10 so we are going to express 100 as 10 squared minus this x squared y squared we can as well write it as x y all squared so if you compare this with the rule we will now discover that this 10 is standing as the a and this x y is standing as the b so to factorize this it will be 10 plus x y 10 minus x y so with this we have factorized this expression another example 16 x squared minus 25 y squared 16 is a perfect square and the square root of 16 is 4 so that means we can express 16 as 4 squared x squared minus 25 is 5 squared and y squared so 4 squared x squared means 4x all squared 5 squared y squared can be written as 5y squared so the final answer here will be in bracket 4s plus 5y then 4x minus 5y at times you are giving some figures that are not perfect squares how are you going to treat such figures when you have a figure which is not a perfect square let's take something like this 5a squared minus 80b squared 5 is not a perfect square 80 is not a perfect square but if we divide 80 by 5 that is if you factorize 5 out we will discover that if you divide 80 by 5 you get 16 5a squared minus 80b squared is the same thing as 5 bracket a squared minus 16b squared so we can see that what we have in the bracket is difference of two squares because this is a perfect square 16 is a perfect square b squared is also a perfect square so this is 5 bracket a squared 16 is 4 squared then b squared that is 5 a squared minus 4 b squared so now finally it's going to be a plus 4 b <coughs> a minus 4 b so whenever you are given two numbers that are not perfect squares and you have to apply the rule of difference of two squares you simply look for what number you can use to divide both of them so that the result will be perfect squares thank you don't forget to subscribe